back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. <laughs> Things are still a little amiss at the uh, at the Thomas household as far as medicine is concerned. Yeah. So <laughs> you have such a grit on your face. Yesterday we talked about uh, my husband went to the store to get Jaden or Roman. Um, once you have more than one kid, you don't know anybody's name. Every Facts. time you say the a kid's dog, name, it's the, the other one. I know. I have I called know. my children Pesky the dog. Absolutely. And vice versa. Never did it when it was just one. God. But you had one more in the mix and you don't know who's it's who. terrible. Uh, yeah, so Roman wasn't feeling well over the weekend. Patrick went to the store to get him some ibuprofen and he said they were out and all they had was bubble gum and i said well facetime me because i was going to pick out another medicine and he said you don't trust me and i said i just want to pick out another medicine turns the phone around and uh he thought that the box that said bubble gum flavor was full of bubble gum (laughs) He thought the ibuprofen was bubble gum. I don't understand. Anyways, I just te- he said, Roman has a cough. I said, did you give him ibuprofen or did you give him cough syrup? And he said, I gave him bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, Lord. It's, so, it's tough, man. It it's is. Tough. Like having to medicate your kids, too. It's like, so sad. I, like if you don't give them the 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 medicine for their, their allergies, mm-hmm. you know, a little, little shooter. Yeah. You take a little sip, boom. They're, you know, then they start sneezing, but they just stop sneezing for a bit. Do you still give them the medicine? I know. Every day? We I I'm not a huge like I'm not like anti medicine. I just don't like taking it. Like Same. nobody in my house takes it. We really don't go to the doctor either. It, I mean, Tylenol, ibuprofen is what is in our medicine cabinet only. I just I don't know. I'm I'm weird about taking a lot of things for some reason. Same. I, I when I get a headache, I uh, I'll just put like a little ice pack on my head. I'm ice pack all the time. Oh, yes, all day. They have these things. Okay, so like they're for your thigh. Uh huh. These are like, it's got a I little exactly rubber band what... situation. We have with a Velcro. Mm-hmm. So here's what, okay. This is weird that I'm going to bring this up because it's really a sad story. But like my next door neighbor, I so I had I had two of those packs, but two's not enough. I wanted like four. <laughs> yeah. So I bought another Just one. Just in case everybody in the house has a headache. Well, no, because I need to rotate sometimes. And I was like, I don't want to have like a soggy one. I want, boom, hard mm-hmm. ice cubes and a thing. So uh, I've just bought a new one. And then I come out of my house one day, and this is last Christmas. And I hear, and I look over, and my, my neighbor, Mike, fell off the ladder. Oh, my gosh. And he's writhing in pain on the driveway. <laughs> you said, Ding. And I'm like, oh, boy, I you know what? Listen, his ankle is like brutal. Uh-huh. I'm like, let me get an ice pack. So I got the brand new ice pack, and I put it around his, his thing. Now, I... I, I hate saying it because he's such a nice guy. You never got it back. I never got it back. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably at the ER. Yeah, right. But like, I never got but, the ice pack back. But also, it's like it, there's a, a statute of limitations when you can ask for it back because it's been a year now, and you're like, hey, remember that ice pack? He's like, loser. But, but when he's still loser. limping, you don't want to do it then either. <laughs> right. It's like, hey, I know you uh, have pins in your ankle, but <laughs> yeah. that ice pack cost me twenty dollars. It was ten <laughs> with the extra care box, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you? I don't know. Though the ice pack's big, big fan though. Me and then too. We have we we keep, do you keep the medicine after you get like a uh, prescription. Do you end up keeping it around mm-hmm. for a bit? Mm-hmm. I like we're using so Colin is. A, TMI. Um, uh, Lahayim, we didn't do the snip. Mm-hmm. So he's got the whole thing there. And it's too tight. So it needs to loosen up. So they mm-hmm. gave us stuff to make it loosen up. Because mm-hmm. uh, the oh, I can get into that story. But one day the doctor just decided to go for it and he tore my kid. It was, mm-hmm. oh, I could have killed him. Um, but they gave us this medicine to help loosen it up a bit. But now it's tightened back up again. So we're using the medicine again. But I haven't gotten like a doctor saying it's okay to use it again. Yeah. You prescribe it once. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm not good at this. I, yeah, we've got, it sounds terrible. We've got, because we don't take them. So we just keep them there. Just in case anybody wants to rob us and take all of our pills. <laughs> <laughs> if actually, one time I took a picture. I don't even know what I had this I, for. I got my hair restoration done and they give you some strong meds. I mm-hmm. didn't take any of them. And then somebody, this is sad, somebody hit me up on DM saying, hey, I'll buy them off you. I'm Ew. like, hey, I'm uh, definitely not going to do that. I'm not I a drug dealer. <laughs>